Hi everybody, Broken Eves here, welcome to today's video. So in today's video, uh, the title is What the Fuck is the Matter with Everyone? I mean, really. In 2024, middle of the year, we have all got the opportunity to look at alternatives to Microsoft Windows. For we all know the shitstorm that's going to hit when 24H2 is released and then beyond, who knows what Microsoft are going to come up with? Will they go to a subscription-based model? Are you happy to pay real-world money every month for your operating system? Are you happy to go out right now and buy a brand new PC? And when Windows 24H2 hits, or indeed Windows 12 hits, have the majority of your hardware power taken up by the operating system alone. I, of course, here, I'm on Zorin OS. Zorin OS <coughs> is part of the Linux family of desktop operating systems that gives you, the user, the possibility to kick Windows into touch and make the move over onto a Linux desktop. Now, I do fully understand and grasp some of you can't. I get that. There are some pieces of software which are just not compatible with Linux. That's fine. It may well be that you have a piece of hardware in your computer that is just not compatible with Linux. I get it. But the, for the vast majority of home users... Zorin OS is a, an amazing opportunity to get off Windows and onto Linux. <clears throat> You've only got to look around this desktop if you're a gamer. Farm Simulator, Star Wars The Old Republic, Domination, Euro Truck, Football Manager, Train Simulator, Warframe, Neverwinter, Fishing Planet, Men of War, Formula One Manager 2023, Hearts of Iron 4, Atlantic Fleet, Valheim, Star Trek Timelines, Bus Driver Simulator. Now this box, if you've not already guessed, is pretty much a simulation box with a bit of mobile game port and MMORPGs thrown in for good measure. All of these games are running beautifully on my e-waste PC. Am I basking in the glory of positivity from the internet? Am I? Fuck. All I keep getting is comments like, uh, fucking hell, any, any, any Linux company that charges money for Linux, you know, shouldn't be allowed. Well, hang on. With Zorin OS, you have Zorin OS Pro, which is a paid operating system. The idea behind that paid operating system is you can support the developers. By buying the operating system, it gives them money and enables them to further develop and bring the operating system on in the future. However, if you don't, for whatever reason, want to spend money on Zorin OS, you have Zorin OS Core and Zorin OS Lite, and Zorin Educational. Three free operating systems won't cost you a fucking penny. So get a grip, stop posting bullshit about things like, oh, Zorin's not real Linux because it's, it's got a paid version. You're not forced to buy the paid version. It's no different to downloading MX Linux and then making a fucking donation to the MX Linux team. Wake up, get a grip, stop posting bullshit. Let's take a bit of positivity here from the Zorin OS operating system. This could well be a great gateway for many, many users to transition between a Windows PC and a Linux PC. Again, am I expecting huge swathes of support and, you know, am I going to 
bask in the adulation that broken Ebes is on Linux and he's kicked Windows. He doesn't have a Windows drive to his name. No. All I get is, oh, Linux won't do this, Linux won't run that. No, I can't. I don't think Linux is a real operating system. Use Arch. Really. Fuck right off with pleasure. Arch Linux, Gen 2 Linux, Linux from scratch, OpenSUSE, Fedora. Don't come here because I'll ram it so far up your fucking arses you'll be able to hear the echo. For the ordinary user on older hardware. I've even had somebody post, oh, I tried this out on old hardware. Guess what? It's not compatible with 32-bit. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Then use an operating system that is compatible with 32-bit. And let's be honest, if you're still running 32-bit hardware, fuck me, you ain't doing much on it. I would imagine even the internet struggles. Just saying. So please, everybody, take your head out, your fucking asses. Stop going on all the internet memes, hearsay, and everybody else's opinion. Get off your fat, sweaty, cracked ass and go and try it yourself on your hardware. Then come back to me. Then and only then do you have the right to ram it so far up my fucking ass you'll be able to hear the echo. Until then, Zorin OS Lite, for me, is an absolute fucking revelation. And it's a great opportunity that people can grasp to get off of Windows and onto Linux for free and not give a flying fuck about what Microsoft or Windows are going to do in the future because it doesn't affect them anymore. They're on Zorin OS or they're on MX Linux or they're on Linux Mint. That is the whole point of this video. It's an opportunity Grasp it, but don't come on here posting fucking bullshit, really. I expect a lot better. And if I continue to get them sort of posts, then they will get responded to text-wise, and it will be rammed so fucking far up your arse, you will not only hear the echo, you'll hear the roar of the V12 engines. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebes video.